Hey. So back in January, my 13-year-old daughter told me she had a big science exam coming up, and she was worried about how she'd do. So I said to her, how about this? If you can get 50% or more, I'll take you out for a meal. So she thought for a second, and she said, how about we raise the stakes, Dad? Perfect for tonight. <laughs> she said, how about we raise the stakes, Dad? If I can get more than 75%, you have to take me to Florida. It was a big raise. But to be honest, she's never been very good at science. I mean, she once almost burnt the school down with nothing but a Bunsen burner in her own head. So, so I took the bet. And she took the exam. 83%. I know, I know. Of course I didn't believe her. I called the teacher up. I said, look, my financial future depends on this. Did that child really get 83%? He said, she did. I said, well, is there some kind of appeals process we can follow here? <laughs> there wasn't. So in the February half term, three weeks ago, we emptied my bank account <laughs> twice, and off we went to Florida. And we went to Universal Studios, and it, it was fantastic. They've got a new ride there. I don't know if any of you have been on it, the Velocicoaster. <laughs> terrifying thing, terrifying but I didn't need to worry, there was no way I was going on it, but she's afraid of roller coasters too, so we were able to just look at it. <laughs> she has this irrational fear of being twisted upside down a hundred times and shot out over a lake at 90 <laughs> miles an hour. But on the second day I said to her, I said, I'll tell you what, if you go on that roller coaster, we'll go for that meal I promised you in January. So she thought about it, she said, hmm, how about we raise the stakes, Dad? <laughs> the tick for tonight. I said, well, okay, well, what are you thinking? She said, well, if I go on that roller coaster and I hold my hands in the air the whole way round, you have to take me to visit the set of my favourite TV show, The Vampire Diaries. It's here in America. <laughs> America's bigger than I thought, but anyway, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. <laughs> so I took the bet and she took the ride, obviously, all the way around. She gets off the ride, she says, come on, we've got a long drive. Covington, Georgia, seven hours away. Seven-hour drive. Yeah. Anyway, I'm a man of my word. A bet's a bet, so we went. We stayed the night in a hotel. The next morning, I find myself on a tour bus. Me, Eloise, my daughter, and 23 teenage girls. <laughs> and at one point, we stop outside this huge house, and they all start screaming, it's the Lockwood Mansion! It's the Lockwood Mansion! I mean, I don't know. It meant nothing to me. But we got out on the steps of this house, and our tour guide, Jess, she went up and she pulled out... Honestly, I mean, it's another big tick for tonight, but she pulled out a steak from behind. <laughs> she did. Not, not food, a steak. And she said, she said, this is the actual steak that Damon used to kill Caroline in episode six, season 74. I don't know, something like that. Who would like to come up here and have a go? So all the, all the teenage hands goes, go up, and of course she picks Emily, uh, Eloise. Emily's the other daughter. She didn't come. She picks... <laughs> too expensive. She picked Eloise. So Eloise goes up, she gets hold of this steak, and, and Jess says, OK, now we need somebody for you to stab. Who are you going to pick? And I think you probably know where this is going. But as I'm lying there... <laughs> My teenage daughter leering over me with a huge wooden stake. <laughs> Something hits me. And it's not the stake, thank God. No. <laughs> it's the realisation that I'm actually enjoying it. <laughs> and, and she's having the time of her life. And I realise that right now she's, she's at such, a, such an important, crucial, crucial stage of her life. And the stakes have never been higher. You know, she stresses out about failing exams. She stresses out about things she's scared of. She stresses out about embarrassing herself in front of her friends. But here in the space of three weeks, she'd aced a science exam. She'd got over her fear of roller coasters. And here she was in front of a group of teenagers screaming, kill him, kill him, <laughs> kill the monster. <laughs> and she was full of confidence. And I was just so happy that I was there to share those moments with her. On the flight home, 
I, st I mean, it was so perfect. I started to jot down some notes for this story tonight. And, and she asked me what I was doing, and I explained. And she said, here's an idea, Dad. She said, if you, if, if you can get a score of 15 <laughs> points or more... <laughs> that's only five each, judges. She said, if you can get 15 points or more, I'll take you out for that meal. Thank you.